I just heard something. Just as I said that? <laughs> That's what we found. Oh my god, yeah. I can't even see at the end of it. Holy shit. Holy shit. At least, if you're me, there's something really cool about underground tunnels. But then again, uh, most people probably think I have a lot of problems. So, <laughs> And I just hope when I get out of here, there's not a ranger sitting there waiting for me. Just slap my hands and tell me a bad boy. <laughs> what is going on, everyone? Welcome back. For those of you who are returning viewers, you can see new setting behind me. That means the move is complete. Some final tweaks going on, but everything is settled. Some upgrades have been done too, so this should help us keep rolling along. So, I just wanted to give that update and then a little backstory on what you're about to see. So, this is the Molly Stark Sanatorium. Before I got in there to this location, there was actually two couples outside outside of the, the fenced area and we decided to have a conversation and they were telling me about some experiences that they had or some people they knew it had had in the past. I, you know, of course I listened because I was curious and interested. Oddly enough, these same types of electrical slash mechanical equipment failures that they had described that themselves or other people had had happened to them in the past I had two to three specific experiences myself with my own equipment while I was in there that has never happened with any of the equipment before or after. Now, take that as you will. I'm not saying it's paranormal. I'm not saying it's anything, but it was a very, very interesting fact. Without further ado, one, make sure you comment on the video if you see or hear anything that maybe I missed. Hit that like button and then hit that notification bell. That way you know when we have a new video out or even when we go live for a live stream so you can check us out. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. This is the Molly Stark Sanatorium. What's going on guys? So it probably is really bright and run down, but this is the Molly Stark Sanatorium. I was here two and a half years ago and I couldn't get in. It is now open for the time being and I am now inside. Let's go check this place out. I am so freaking excited about this. It was at this moment, after entering further, that my flashlight began to have mechanical problems. This flashlight has never had any such issues before or after this occurrence. Alright, first room already. Immediately we got some old beds. Love it. Love it. Don't worry, I will put some history of this place. Because it's popular and I've, again, I tried to come here two and a half years ago. I couldn't get in. So this is outstanding. Opened in 1929, the Molly Stark Sanatorium was one of 25 tuberculosis hospitals in Ohio. Some 1,200 feet of underground tunneling connected the buildings that completed the hospital grounds. In 1952, 
the west and east wings, as well as the kitchen and laundry rooms, were expanded despite the noticeable decline in deaths caused by tuberculosis. In 1975, a surge of staff resignations and financial decline put the hospital's future at risk. The decline in the patients and infrastructure would lead to its official closure in 1995. Yes, I am painting almost every room because I don't want to, like, miss anything. This just might be, like, the one time, you know, like the one time opportunity. So this might be a long video. If it's really long, I might break it down into two. Let's see. There's his quarters. So guys, this place is supposed to be like really haunted, like extremely haunted. So listen close to that audio. I'm probably gonna put a notice to hey, check with your, you know, wear earbuds or something, or headphones at least, because I might not hear anything right now. So let's see if we can uh, drop some comments in the second below if you uh, hear anything, okay? Oh, this is like a, oh, that's right, handicap. I was like therapy tub. Now it's more like handicap that easy in and out. stations let's just go this way this place is actually pretty big so I'm going to try not to get lost because <laughs> of course there's no markers or identifiers as to like what anything is so I'm loving it so far. It does have a really, it does have a really creepy vibe in here. Maybe it's because I'm alone too. That's not helping, but it really does. I'm doing shows right now. I think I'm just like psyching myself out. <laughs> I think that's all that is. stairs, but they might be in the far corners of the building. Let's finish this uh, ground floor quick. Another nursing station. Cleaning room. Oh, Perhaps maybe. Yeah, same bathtub. So these wings might actually be relatively similar to each other. Obviously one side might be for different type of patients, you know, but I think they're going to be probably relatively similar, but that's okay. It's still awesome all the same. Oh yeah. I just heard something. I'm getting those chills again. Alright, let's go upstairs. Let's see what's upstairs quick. Flashlight off. Yeah, there's more lighting up here. So I should be a bit brighter. Oh, 
yeah, it's quite a bit brighter. Yeah, they always just throw stuff in rooms. Right under like weird. Offices maybe. Then patient rooms. Or are they just three desks in rooms again? Lots of furniture. Again, like another nurse's station. I don't know if this place had an operating room. I'm gonna guess this because it was a tuberculosis hospital. The downstairs had this. Oh no, it's different. Okay. The downstairs had like a long hallway. And I was wondering if that was like their sun room, you know, for sunlight and fresh air. I don't know, I have a tricks. I'm going to swear way up ahead and I saw something like move. Like maybe a shadow or something. I think I'm just freaking myself out now. <laughs> nice. It's very cool. There's a whole nother wing here. But I don't know where... I, I, I'm not sure exactly where I, I think I'm in like the center of the building. I guess I should look out a window maybe. That'll help me a little bit. Oh, some old paperwork. Yeah, a lot more. I think there's a lot left in here. We just have to find it. Staircase up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, this is the front of the building. This is like the front door. Yeah. So this is like the front door, I think, right here with the big arch. Which is really nice. The outside is amazing of this building. It's like one of the best things about it. But yeah, you have like reception, check-in I guess. And I'm guessing they had some grand painting or mural originally right over the fireplace. And then look at that chandelier. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. All right, let's carry on. Cool. I love kitchens. I love kitchens, especially when there's all, like most, at least most of the equipment I saw here. Hey, it's in good shape too. I mean, really. For sitting here abandoned like this? Open to the elements? I'm surprised it's really not in worse shape. Still with grease. Mmm, yummy. Actually kind of smells like grease. That's kind of funky. Oh, this is one of those uh like lift hoist elevators. Yeah. I can't think of the like a, a dumb weight or whatever. Dumb waiter. That's what it is. This must be the cooler. Oh yeah, like three coolers. Not very big, but yeah, three of them. Maybe that was just like a refrigerator back there, but yeah. Really nice. Oh, 
dishwashing station. I'm just surprised yeah, a lot of this is here and how good it looks. Really. I've seen way worse looking <laughs> equipment. Right, we're out of the kitchen. So let's go upstairs. He's a little rickety. something maybe. Could have just been like a nurse's station again. But for you know upstairs. And this place keeps going and going and going. And I'm kind of getting disoriented where I am. <laughs> Sorry, I had my light on. There were people outside, and I was talking to you beforehand. Um, it's really cool. Um, if that was one of you, uh, Ben and the couple, Ashley, Ben, and the other couple, um, if you see this video, drop a comment, and they'll be like, that's us. Um, really cool people. Uh, but there's a, uh, there's now a little white van sitting out there, just by itself, kind of in the parking lot, facing the building. Uh, it's making me a little nervous, thinking that there might be the, uh, the rangers or whoever it is that, like, patrols this place. Okay, that was really weird. Um, I literally charged up my batteries. Now, sometimes they drain out a little faster than I want them to, but I literally just charged them up. The camera just shut off, and then I turned it on, I changed my battery. And I turned it on and it said I had to do like data recovery. It was really weird. So I'm really hoping at this point that I have all the footage from everywhere that I've done. Oh boy. But this is why this building is so nice. It has all these amazing arches, which we'll, we'll see from the outside. It's a little harder to see from here. So we'll show it from the outside. But yeah. That was really weird with the camera. Just found a little bit of Ben outside. He was saying that um, he's had some uh, issues before with electronics here, also. So that was kind of interesting. It's just the architecture of this place is so amazing. Outside is the really amazing part of this place, really. But we're gonna go back to the ground floor, and I want to see if I can find uh, some tunnels. If I can find the stairs again, it's like constantly my problem. Let's go back down ground floor and see what we can find quickly, and then we'll get out of here and go out to the front. I 
again, I forget this is uh, that was actually the second uh, This is actually the first floor is quote unquote the basement. This is just kinda weird. I have to go down here anyways to find the the way I got in. Alright, I think this was it. But okay, I passed this chair, yeah. So I think I wanna go this way. I'm gonna find the tunnel entrance though. I'd like to, but I don't know if I'm going to. Just to like, you know, poke my head in there or something. I wouldn't go down this hole, I don't think. So I'll go down this hole and then go backtrack. Serving uh, cover, lid covers. Man, this place is really big. I mean, like, really big. And yeah, I don't. That's part of the problem, this is so big. It would take a while to, to locate everything. I see just randomly because this door is kind of cracked open, but just for storage. Super hidden. I think it'd be pretty noticeable if we find it. Again. Sorry, I'm getting turned around. And just as I said that, <laughs> look what we found. So. Uh, as I probably already mentioned, there's another building, and these are the tunnels that connect to the other building across the yard. Awesome. We'll go down here just a little ways, but then I'm going to get out of here. This is really what I want to see. Let's go echo. So like how far from the ground. I don't think that far. But yeah, they go quite a ways again to connect to the other building. Yeah, this place. Oh my god, yeah. I can't even see the end of it. Holy shit. Holy shit. I did not realize that there was that much. Oh god, that just scared me. I'm literally just whispering kind of on the camera because of the echo, and my voice is echoing down one of those tunnels. Like all the way at the end, I heard it reverberating back. That's crazy. So, 
to each his own, right? Now I'm just kicking things. I was doing pretty good. There's so many staircases too. So I said I don't know exactly where I am at, but I think I'm back towards the entry. So that's good. And I just hope when I get out of here, there's not a ranger sitting there waiting for me. Just slap my hands and tell me a bad boy. <laughs> uh, or worse. Yeah, I'll take a fine. It was worth it. so much for watching we're going to do some outside shots here of the building stick around and look for those and make sure to hit that like subscribe to the channel and drop a comment what was your favorite part or did you hear any voices that i didn't I'll talk to you later thanks again guys all right guys so i'm back outside uh it took me a second to get back out <laughs> but like i said it started to rain too but like i said we'll do some outside shots and do some photos and uh and we'll wrap it up for the day. But again, this is the point of the building, why it's so amazing. It's just, yes, it is behind the fence. It is just so focused. There's so much detail in the architecture. All of the arches, all of it. It's just amazing. Be better without the fence. Apologize for that. But you can tell. I mean, there's a lot of good work down there in this building. It's absolutely amazing. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you guys the next time.